Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to explain to you about a language teaching method called Community Language Learning which is developed by Charles A. Current. So what is Community Language Learning or in short CLL? This method of teaching is where the teachers would consider their students as whole persons in which teacher considers not only their students intellect but they also have some understanding of their relationship among students feelings physical reactions instinctive protective reactions and desire to learn this method takes its principles from the more general counseling learning approach which is also developed by charles a current he found that adult learners often feel threatened by a new learning situation they are threatened by the change inherent in learning and by the fear that they will appear foolish. Curran believed that a way to deal with the fears of students is for teachers to become language counselors. In CLL, whatever methods that are in line with the whole person approach can be adapted. In this video, I'm going to be explaining one of the techniques that can be used. The technique is by recording the student's conversation. Students will be asked to have a conversation using their native language or using gestures if the group has no common language. Students are given a choice of what they want to say and when to say it. By giving students this choice, students are in a good position to take responsibility for their own learning. Then, the teacher translates what the students say or acts out into the target language. The final recording given to students would be a translation. The translated version is then replayed for the students to listen so that they can recall the meaning. Being able to recall the meaning of almost everything said in a first conversation is motivating for learners. What are the goals of using this teaching method? The teachers who are using this method want students to learn how to use the target language communicatively and to learn about their own learning, to take increasing responsibility of their own learning, and lastly, to learn how to learn from one another. All of these objectives can be accomplished in a non-defensive manner if the teacher and learner treat each other as whole persons, valuing both thoughts and feelings. Now, let's talk about the roles involved in this method. How is teacher considered in CLL? Well, teacher's role is equal to that of a counselor. This does not mean that the teacher is a therapist or that the teacher does no teaching. It means that the teacher recognizes how threatening a new learning situation can be for adult learners, so he skillfully understands and supports his students. As for the students, they are dependent upon the teacher. However, as the learners continue to study, they become increasingly independent. Let's talk more about this. CLL advocates a holistic approach to language learning which is termed as a whole person learning. Such learning takes place in a communicative situation where teachers and learners are involved in an interaction in which both experience a sense of their own wholeness. Within this, the development of the learner's relationship with the teacher is central. The process is divided into five stages and compared to the ontogenetic development of the child. In the first stage, which is the birth stage, the feelings of security and belonging are established. And in the second stage, as the learner's abilities improve, the learner as child begins to achieve a measure of independence from the parent or the teacher. By the third stage, the learner will be able to speak independently and may need to assert his or her own identity, often rejecting unasked for advice. The fourth stage sees the learner as secure enough to take criticism. And the last stage, the learner merely works upon improving style and knowledge of linguistic appropriateness. By the end of the process, the child has become adult. The learner knows everything the teacher does and can become knower for a new learner. Language skills. Basically, these are the language skills that are being emphasized in this method. At the earlier stages, what happened here is that students would generate the material since they can decide what they want to be able to say in the target language. At the later stages, which is after students feel more secure, 
the teacher might prepare specific materials or work with published books. Particular grammar points, pronunciation patterns, and vocabulary are worked with based on the language the students have generated. The most important skills are understanding and speaking the language at the beginning with reinforcement through reading and writing. So does the student's native language play any important role in this method of teaching? Yes, it does. At the beginning especially, student security is enhanced by using the native language. How? This is done by giving literal translation of the target language words that have been transcribed whenever possible. Directions during sessions where students express their feelings are also conducted in native language. But what if the students have different native languages? Well, this can be solved by using pantomime, pictures, target language synonyms. However, during the later stages, more and more of the target language can be used. What are the characteristics of the teaching learning process? As mentioned before, CLL is a method where the teacher treats their students as a whole person. The result of this approach is what we call as non-defensive learning. Current mentioned that there are six elements necessary for non-defensive learning. The first one is security, as I've mentioned before. The second one is aggression, where the students should be given an opportunity to assert themselves be actively involved and invest themselves in the learning experience. One way of allowing this in lesson is by allowing students to conduct their own conversation. The third one is attention. Students need to be able to attend to many factors simultaneously. To facilitate this, especially at the beginning of the learning process, the teacher helps to narrow the scope of attention. The fourth one is reflection. This can occur in two ways. First is when the students reflect on the language as the teacher read the transcript three times. The second is when students are invited to stop and consider the active experience they are having. The fifth one is retention, which is the integration of the new material that takes place within the whole self. Lastly is the discrimination, sorting out the differences among target language forms. What is the nature of student-teacher or student-student interaction in this method. This actually changes within the lesson and over time. Sometimes the students are assertive, for example, when they are conversing with each other. When this happens, the teacher would help them to be able to express themselves in the language that they are learning. The teacher would physically exclude himself from the circle in order to encourage students to interact with each other. Other times in the lesson, the teacher is very obviously in charge and providing direction, especially at the beginning when the teacher structures the class. At later stages, however, the students may assume more responsibility for this. Overall, it tries to instill the spirit of cooperation, not at all competing with each other. Rardin has observed the community language learning method is neither student-centered nor teacher-centered but rather teacher-student-centered, with both being decision-makers in the class. Now, let's talk about feelings. As mentioned before in CLL method, teacher has a responsibility that is akin to that of a counsellor, which mainly deals with someone's feelings. The important question to ask is, how does the teacher deal with students' feelings? Responding to the students' feelings is considered very important in CLL, these are some of the practices. The first one is by inviting students to comment on how they feel. The teacher needs to listen and respond to each comment carefully. By showing students that he or she understands how they feel, the teacher can help them overcome negative feelings that might otherwise block their learning. The second one is by using students' native language. The usage of their native language can provide students with a sense of security. Other ways where the sense of security can be provided is when the teacher tells the students precisely what will be covered throughout the lesson. Sense of security is also provided when the teacher follows the established time limits and takes responsibility for structuring activities clearly in the most appropriate way. 
bear in mind that even though security is a basic element of the learning process, the way on how the security is being provided would change depending on the stage of the learner. How is evaluation done? There is no particular mood of evaluation is prescribed in the community language learning method. Whatever evaluation is conducted should be in keeping with the principles of the method. Some of the evaluation methods that can be applied in CLL are like integrative test, where the students would be asked to write a paragraph or be given an oral interview rather than being asked to answer a question which deals with only one point of language at a time. Or maybe self-evaluation, where students would be encouraged to look at their own learning and be aware of their own progress. What if students make errors? Obviously, the teacher would attempt to help students in a non-threatening way. This can be done by recasting the student's error. For example, by repeating correctly what should have been said without paying any further attention to the mistake made. All in all, techniques depend on where the students are in the five-stage learning process but are consistent with sustaining a respectful, non-defensive relationship. So, that's all from me. Thanks for watching.